Here's 11.2, graphing an exponential function and its asymptote, okay? So normally the asymptote of every exponential function is going to be the x-axis or the line y equals zero, okay? The only time that that's going to change is if the function has a vertical shift, whether it shifts up or it shifts down. Um, that's the only way it's going to change because if you take a vertical line and you shift it to the left or you shift it to the right, it doesn't change where the vertical line is located. Okay, it's only when you oh not vertical horizontal. It's only when you shift it up that the horizontal value, the y value, will change, or when you shift it down. Similarly, right? So um, that's the only time that the asymptote is going to change. And since I don't have an plus a number on the outside of the basic function, then I know it's not going to shift up or down. So I actually know the horizontal asymptote for all of these, and it's gonna be y equals zero, or the x axis for all of them, because not a single one of these has a shift um, that's shifting the graph up or down. So every single one of these I know has that horizontal asymptote. So when I graph them on the graphing paper, um, I'm going to try to do my best. I know that there's a horizontal asymptote on top of the x axis. Okay. Same thing for this one. When I try to draw this one, I know I'm going to have a horizontal asymptote on top of this y-axis or x-axis sorry and then the same for this one and in order for me to graph it you really only need three points and then you can connect the dots inside with the graphing function in the computer so you do have to mark the horizontal asymptote first once you that with the icons and you put it where it needs to be put it'll place it there and then you just need at least three points in order to graph this so for my three points what I'm going to use is I'm going to use negative one zero and one so when I do my calculator eight over three um, oops I forgot to insert parentheses so eight over three raised to the negative one is three eighths. Same thing again, but now I'm going to raise it to the power zero. I get one, and same thing, but I'm going to raise it to the power one, and I get eight thirds. Now these are not nice numbers, so you will have to use that icon that allows you to plot points and type in negative one for the x coordinate, and then three eighths for the y coordinate, and then click plot point. Then you'll do. You could might as well because it stays there. So you might as well plug zero for x, one for y, and click plot again, and one for x, eight thirds for y, and click plot again, and then exit it out. Once you do that, it will graph the points for you. So zero and one is here. Uh, three, negative one and three eighths is really low spot right there. And then one and eight thirds is actually more than two, so it's about up here somewhere. Okay, and so then if you notice, the, if you follow this curve, it looks like this. And since I can't cross the horizontal asymptote, it, it looks like that. And when you hit the graphing icon, it'll graph that for you. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to use those same x values. And when I type in my calculator, 4 to the negative 1, it gives me 1 fourth. 4 to the 0, it gives me 1. 4 to the 1, it gives me 4. So I'm going to plot again those same coordinates. So one fourth is negative one for negative one and positive one fourth is here. Zero and positive one is there, and then one and four is here. And so again, it's giving me a curve in this direction. Okay. Now for the last one, we're going to do negative one zero one when I type in this whole thing raised to the negative one the computer will tell me five halves the whole thing raised to the zero the whole thing raised to the one 
and then you just plot these in your computer. So negative one and five's halves is actually two and a half, zero and one, and then one and two fifths is gonna be pretty close to the x-axis. So then notice that the curve goes in this direction now. Why is it that these other two graphs went up toward the right and this one is going up toward the left? The, the, the difference is, is that these bases are numbers that are larger than one. Eight over three is actually two and two thirds. So this is a number bigger than one. This base four is bigger than one. This base two fifths is not bigger than one. It is less than one, which is why the curve goes off toward the negative direction, okay? So that's the big determining factor as far as like knowing which way it's gonna go up, okay? It goes up on the positive side if the base is bigger than one. It goes up on the negative side for x, negative side if the base is less than one.